Hey, welcome back folks to another delightful plumbing video. We were located in West Melbourne, Florida at a 55 and older community, manufactured homes and stuff. And these people got a serious problem with their kitchen drain. We're gonna tackle this and I'm gonna show you why I always say the kitchen drain is the dirtiest drain in anybody's house. Let's go. All right, so when I arrived, the customer told me that about a month ago, some of our guys were out here uh, for the same problem. Uh, they didn't know whether they snaked the line out or not, uh, but uh, the family had some health issues and stuff, and so nobody's been around here for almost a month. And now they come back, and there's still a major problem with the drain in the kitchen. I ran water, and it drained very, very slow. So I came outside and opened up one of the panels on the side of the manufactured home, found the pipe, and I cut it open. And let me show you what it looks like. Now remember, this is from a 2-inch kitchen drain have a look at this <laughs> that my friend is solid grease yuck oh boy we got some work in front of us all right so here is the panel i opened up the kitchen's back up in there but that's what I cut open. And you already see all the grease laying around on the ground. I sprayed the hose up in there. But there's still a bunch of stuff that's stuck up inside there. We're going to have to run the snake through there. Yeah, that's got a lot of grease. Nasty. So one thing I am concerned about is snaking the line and breaking a bunch of that stuff up and then making it so it goes all the way down to the other end of the manufacturer home. I don't want to cause more of a stoppage down the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to run our medium sized 5 8 cable through this 2 inch line and I'm going to try to jet it with a uh, uh, hose and a spigot as much as I can uh, but that'll be after we try to break up that hard grease. is just packed full of crappy grease hard grease and stuff i got my partner going inside to turn the faucet on hot in the kitchen and we're going to try to push it out from both ways and then try to flush the other line out that's going out to the main sewer nasty remember that's the little area that goes up to the kitchen and that connects goes all the way back to the very other end of the mobile home can't imagine how much grease is in there all right here comes the water from the kitchen 
still real dirty. Look at that stuff come out. Oh yes. That's exactly what we want to see. Look, it's starting to clear out. Good, 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 good. Now for that end. So it looks like the kitchen from this line to the kitchen uh, seems to be clearing out a lot more. And that's this line that's a long run running down through there. I'm just going to try to push as much water as I possibly can down that line and get it out of the system. And then we'll install clean out right there. stuff still caked up inside here look at this big old piece this is just what i can reach uh, all grease oh yuck nasty nasty stuff i'm gonna flush it out some more So we flushed that line out as much as we could. We still got a lot of water that's flowing back here. I've decided to pull out the big gun, a larger three quarter inch cable with a larger bit. I'm gonna to try to break up as much of that grease downstream as I possibly can, flush it out again. I'm just gonna to have to keep flushing it until it starts draining. That's a lot of grease. Damn. That grease is hard. Look at it. Ah. Yucky. All right, let's try this again. All right, nothing's back flowing. We're gonna run that hose in there for a good 10 minutes. Okay, so we've had the water running down in the stream in that kitchen pipe for a good five minutes now and nothing is backflowing. Um, really what should have happened is we should have gotten a high pressure jet with hot water and cleaned all that out. But I don't have anything like that that I have disposable unless I call another company to come out to do. So we're going to let that run a little bit more and try to clear it out as much as possible and then install our clean out. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the nastiness. Tell me I'm wrong when I tell you that the kitchen drain is by hands down the dirtiest one in the house. All right, that's the number one cause for kitchen stoppages besides uh, food particles, garbage disposals, hair, whatever. But grease by far is the number one thing. I think we did the best thing we could. Uh, technically speaking, when a line is packed with grease that bad, uh, you should get a high jet 
uh, machine out here to jet those lines out and to clear it. And I'm just hoping that there wasn't big chunks that went down the line that are going to clog up the main line and they're going to call with stoppages for toilets and stuff. But I went in and flushed everything. It seemed to be working fine. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever ran into a drain that's been this nasty and clogged up that much. I appreciate it. Until next time, don't forget to keep plumbing.